Hey guys, what's going on? I know we've got, there's stuff going on, and I just wanted to take a look at one last play before the week is done, before we finally put a pin on this. And so I wanted to look at the uh, Rogers fumble because there was a, a clip that was kind of going around, and I want to take a look at it. So here's what we're going to look at. First off, we're going to start right here with uh, with Runyon. Uh, this is kind of the crux of it. This is uh, what happened. I think it was Ted Ted Win, Ted Nguyen, uh, who's tremendous, by the way, put out a uh, put out a clip and basically said, "Hey, look at Runyon. He gets kind of gets pushed back." gets grabbed by his bicep, gets turned around, and he desperately tries to just just block the man out, ends up being a fumble. That's that. Now, it looks to me like it, the guy, I think that's Quinton Williams, doesn't get a hand on him. I think that's that's probably it's a little wet. I think it, it, it had been raining or it's getting ready to rain or something, and Rogers has that thumb. Looks like it pops out the back of the hand. But that was the thing. The clip goes out. Runyon's trying to box the guy out. Haha, that's bad. That is bad. That is bad. Uh, but I want to look at it because then I, there were some comments on it that were basically Rogers needs to throw it on that first hitch. Do you see how he double pumps? I'm going to watch him. Bang, bang, hits the back foot. It looks like he wants to throw. So it's like, oh, well, that's on Rogers. Well, like when a guy's trying to like block a man with, with the back of him, um, I tend to say the blame is likely on him. Uh, but I want to dig in. I want to see because you can only see so much. That's from one angle. What's going on outside of that frame? You can't tell anything. What are they looking at? All right, here's what we're looking at. We are looking at, it's like a post out. It's uh, like from here. Okay, and something like that. All right, this is, uh, we always got up here. Second, second and 15, I guess. Yeah, loss of five on the first, second 15. End up losing eight here because it ends up being that, that fumble sack, as we already saw. So what's the defense doing? What's Rogers looking at pre-snap? Yeah, the two up high. This guy's playing off. Looks pre-snap like some sort of uh, like quarters, likely. So quarters in that you each person covers has a that is accountable for a deep quarter of the field. Um, there's different rules with the different stuff. I'm not going to get into all that, but basically, you, with the, what you're looking at with this is if this is quarters, and a lot of this, uh, we'll just we'll end up circling these guys. So. This too high, this quarters look that you're looking at. A lot of teams will show this this shell pre-snap, and they'll rotate a guy down, and this will become cover one. So usually, what you're looking at, the initial look that that the that the Packers are looking at is uh, look at the backside safety. Usually, tell you what's going on. In this case, they both end up just dropping back, so it doesn't matter. Um, but but just because they're in too high does not mean that they're going to stay in too high. In this case, they do. I want to bring that up, so you're checking those safeties. Now, where's the weak point? There's weak points in every coverage. The weak point in too high. Now they're pinched. You can see that you know they're kind of they're pretty close together there, but they're pinched in quarters, so it, it gets condensed a little bit at too high. It's the it's it's classified as a, it's a there's basically two different kinds, two basic kinds of coverage. There's middle field closed, middle field open. Middle field closed, single high safety. It's closed because there's someone cap in the middle. That's closed. This is open. This is a middle of the field open defense, which means that's one of the places you can attack. Uh, is your you can attack the middle of the field because of what's going to happen, and again, less so than like your you know your standard uh, cover two. Still, somewhat these guys are going to widen a little. Sometimes you'll step straight back, but either way, you're not pinching in unless one guy's dropping down. So you've got this thing in the middle. So you open the middle. How do you attack the middle? You open to attack the middle with posts. Uh, and you can kind of run some other stuff off of it. So what they're going to do, we'll kind of run it, and then we'll kind of take a look at what the reads are. And again, we're looking at these two receivers down here. So you got the out from the inside, post from the outside, which looks right. All right. So it breaks about 25. Okay, so we've got the first read, middle field open, post, second read, out. So you're saying, all right, what are these safeties doing? Where are my open spots? Are these, are these safeties dropping straight back? If these safeties are dropping straight back, middle field open, I'm taking that post. Taking that post. And a lot of times, too, this is an out. A lot of times, if you flip this around, you get this vertical pushing stem up here. You turn this around, a lot of times you pair that with an in. That's a, kind of a Mills uh, Mills concept, Spurrier concept. It's called Florida, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, Fox 2XY hook, I guess, the other one. Shut up. No one cares. Uh, you run this little dig inside here trying to pull this man up and you hit the post over the top. So you're opening gaps. This guy's tied up over here. You're removing him from the equation because you're getting him to bite on the vertical stem. That's what you're doing. Now he doesn't do it here. And again, this is an out, but you're trying to get some kind of movement there potentially. And if it does just move him up, 
get him okay because well, there's a lot of, again not getting in all the rules but a lot of times you know this guy will have this guy unless it's taken all the way vertical then he'll go and he'll pass off and this becomes this guy so a lot of this match coverage stuff you get into again i'm not going to get into it because i'm gonna sound real real dumb if i do but middle field open you're hitting the post you're looking at the post that's the first read is down here that's dobbs is the first read and then you're going to him next so rogers has time to get to his first read he looks up you re you read on the way back so on the drop back He's looking, he's dropping straight back. He's looking down the field. What does he see? Well, he sees two high safeties. They're not moving. Beyond not moving, feet are pointed that way, which means, boy, that looks real nice. That looks real, real nice. So Rogers is dropping on the way back as he's dropping his foot. He says, I'm going to hit this back foot. I'm going to let this rip. I've got the post. I know I've got the post. And if I don't have the post, if it, if it turns out he doesn't have the post, which, spoiler alert, does not have the post, I'm going to throw the out route. Because if this guy, you're kind of reading everything on this side, if this guy's dropping out with it, and this guy, you can see he's he's eyeing there. He's carrying him up the seam. So you're looking at all this. He's carrying up the seam. He thinks he's got to pass off to here. If the post isn't open, it means this guy stayed home. It means you've got this guy to the inside. And you've got the out route. So I'm going to take the post. The post isn't there. I'm throwing the out. That's his progression. Roger's dropping back. Again, I don't want to harp on this too much, but you got the feet there. Roger's looking down the middle. You got the feet kind of pointed. Eyes on the, on the slot, right? Because, he's because again, this guy is carrying to a certain depth, and then he passes off. So Roger's looking at that. I've got the post, man. I've got the post. He plants. Back foot hits. He's loading, man, which means you've got, okay, here's the out first because this guy's going like that. This guy's not biting. He's not carrying anymore. They pass this off really, really well. Roger's saying back foot hits. I'm in the post. I've got Sauce Gardner, who is a very good cornerback, as we saw, but I've got him in outside leverage. This guy's moving. I've got the post over the top. I am hitting the post. He loads up. He's got the little crow, that crow hop here. And by the way, just to set our just set our timing a little bit, this is happening right now with Runyon. He's getting turned around. I'm it's a little crow hop. I'm gonna hit this thing. He's coming up over. I don't know if he cuts this. I don't know if I don't think he cuts that a little shallow. I think it's all right. It's not there. I kind of skipped over a little bit, but this guy will we'll keep an eye on him on the run back. Rogers pulls it back basically because this guy. The way he was playing, it looks like he is cutting out, but he ends up staying kind of home and is carrying it to the inside, which means this guy is now bracketed. You have his post with a uh, you know, gardener underneath. That's not what I meant to do. I want another color to be clear. And the safety is now underneath. He got bracketed. There is no room to put this ball. So then Roger's like, crap. All right, I'm going to reset. I'm throwing the out because, again, you've got the out. You've got the out but instead he gets walked back into he's trying to throw if he gets this off he's got just wide open wide open down here unfortunately it does not happen all right so we'll watch we'll do this one more time because i don't want to belabor the point here we all got better things to do probably we're going to watch that safety and we'll run it back one more time and watch rogers again step 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 back over see it looks like he's going to kind of come up and do it nope he doesn't all right so Safety, back, back, back. Rogers hits. I got him. Pro hop. He's turning up. I don't got him. He was turning like that. I got him. He's turning back. I don't got him because again, bracketed. Over, 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 under. Sorry. Pro hops. I don't have him. I thought I had him. I'm all loaded up. I'm gonna chuck this sucker. All right, man. Now I gotta reset. I'm gonna hit the out. Tries to reset. I mean, real quick. And again, we'll watch if he does that. Tries to reset real quick and throw because he's, you know, arm talent to do that. And uh, and he's got a wide open guy. So the, a couple different things here for starters. First read is the post for all the reasons we just talked about. You've got the too high look. That means you've got the middle field open. And then beyond the middle field open, I'll run it back just so I can talk about it again with it in front of me. And then we'll look at it from the back side, the back angle, the end zone angle one more time. I've got two high safeties right here. I've got the middle of the field open. Beyond that, I've got this guy pushing up. And on the initial read, I've got this guy here looking at me. I'm, I'm Rogers in this scenario. Looking at me, dropping back to about this depth. 
and then he's going to pass off and he's up the seam and he's passing off there. The the depth of this route is going past that. So Roger's saying, all right, I've got my two high. They stay in too high. They're not spinning the single high. This guy is going to carry and pass off. So I'm good there. I know what I have. That means this safety is moving. I can hit that post. But instead of being able to do that, again, all the pre-snap stuff is good. All the immediate post-snap stuff is good. He makes the initial read right based on the drops. The Jets are able to change that based on this safety kind of moving a little bit, which causes Rodgers to stop, have to move to a second read, does not have time to get to a second read. So we are going to look one more time at that back angle with all of that in mind because we kind of know what he's doing and we'll kind of talk about the different steps we just talked about here for a second. You see Rodgers looking. All right. That is a little hand thing. Fake. Eyes up. I'm looking at the safety. Back foot. I'm chucking this sucker. Oh, it's not there. All right, I got to move. This is him going to second read. He like said, second read. There's there. This guy has also won. There are many people in the backfield. This is the second read. He thinks he's got the post. And again, post takes you know a little bit of time. That's it's a longer developing play. So the move to the second read whatever but first read looks like it's there until the exact moment it looks like it isn't he's getting ready to release and he's got bracketed if he throws so th these are the two options that i see him he throws that ball when he hits that back foot and crow hops and it's either picked off or knocked down or dobbs comes up with a tremendous catch my money's on likely two that probably get probably gets knocked down but he's bracketed there's nowhere for the ball to go the other option is Try to move to your second read and get rid of the ball. I think the vast majority of people, based on looking at this, I would hope if you see it the same way I do after looking through all this, you would take your chances with going to the second read, not thinking that one of your uh, linemen is trying to block a man with uh, with his back. So just I wanted to walk through it. It took me longer than I wanted to, but I want to make sure I kind of kind of covered all of my bases here, I guess, to kind of give a full view of it. So. Hope you learned something, um, and now I promise this will be the last time I end up talking about week six, but I hope you enjoyed this this little look at uh, this fumble and, you know, what uh, what ended up happening and and likely what could have happened if he just goes first read. So, and thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll talk to you within the next week, I guess.